Hey, what's happening everybody? How you doing tonight? This is Brian Maples. I'll make another video. Just checking in on all you you guys, seeing how you're all doing. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> so I've been doing a lot of product research over the last few days. And what I'm beginning to realize <clears throat> is, yes, there's a lot of markets. Um, please like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't. I'd appreciate that. It really helps me out. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of markets that are just, <clears throat> they look like they're saturated. And some are, but some are not. Um, I'll tell you one thing. Right now, desks are just out of control. They're in short supply. Anything with the name desk on it, <clears throat> it's just blowing up right now. Um, you can still do differentiations and still do well with those, but desks in general, whether it's a kid's desk or an adult desk or just a desk, it's just they're blowing up. So if you want to sell something to make money, that could potentially be a good product. Um, so yeah, I looked at a lot of different niches today, a lot of different, uh, over the last week really, just building the list I build for my students. If you're interested in that, you can check out my Patreon forward slash FBA commute. Um, it's 50 bucks a month just for the list. I will do some basic coaching for 100 and really more in depth coaching for 250. Um, but um, yeah, the list. So I have this is my, one of my bigger lists. I put a lot of products on there. A lot of them are a lot of niches are becoming somewhat saturated, but some are such a huge, massive revenue that even the bottom sellers can get some of that revenue right now so that's really great it's really a nice thing um so for those of you that don't know my goal is to build my business up to a million dollar business and then to sell it that's that's really what i'm looking to do for those of you that don't know i might even want to just keep building it but let's see how it goes right now with my sales just off of a couple items and their variations i'm probably going to be around seven hundred thousand for the year um, hopefully more. I'm adding new products, at least one or two new products into that. I want to have around maybe five, six, seven ASINs that builds me a million dollar business. I'm into more of the um, bigger items, uh, not just bigger, but higher priced items. I really think that's the way to fly, but everybody has a different strategy. So yeah, doing product research, there's a ton of good stuff out there. Um, it's not always necessarily going to find this under 75 reviews. That model's kind of dying because reviews are happening so fast. I mean, just over the last month, I've gotten probably almost 200 reviews on one item. That's crazy fast. So imagine you go to your supplier, you know, you source it. By the time you source it, get it shipped over, that might take you two or three months. By the time that's over, all of a sudden, people that had one review now have 150 reviews if they're selling a lot, you know. So it can easily happen. It does happen. Um... There's, there's just so many crazy markets right now exploding, um, and there's so much opportunity. Now, does that mean any product you launch is going to make money? No. I've launched products, and I've, I've lost money, and I haven't made anything. Um, sometimes it's a defect or any number of things. But, look, you can't be afraid to lose in order to gain. I was telling somebody today, if you have one product out of seven, that can be all you need. But hopefully that one product comes sooner than later, right? Because who wants to launch six products just to find the seventh? The people with the grit, the people that will continue to fight to find a product, those are the ones that are going to win. Bottom line. Um, if you fail two, three times, and you get back up and you do it again, maybe it's that fourth time, maybe it's the fifth time, maybe it's your first time, maybe you get lucky there. Uh, or maybe you, you just really understand it right off the bat and you hit it. But you're going to win if you keep working at it, in my opinion. You've got to have the grit to do it. A lot of people don't have that. And, you know, just don't listen to anybody's bullshit. Like, there's so many people out there that give you shit. You know, if I just think about my days back in high school, um, you know, people, people shit on each other left and right about everything. Kids are shitty and they're insecure and they make you feel like shit, right? Um, and then you can become an adult. It's the same damn thing. You got adults that judge you for everything you are, everything you do. You know what? F those people. Don't listen to them. Do what makes you happy. Do, obviously do things that make sense to a point. But a lot of times people are just jealous and they're just full of shit. And they just want to tear you down. Don't listen to those people, man. If I listened to those people, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere. And I'm going to continue to do my thing, what makes me happy. I got my family to support me. So I'm not worried about those people. You shouldn't be worried about those people. Or you're going to have them in your life, the naysayers. 
you can't do that. You shouldn't do that. There's no way you're going to accomplish that. You know what? All those people can kiss my ass because I'm doing just fine. And you can say that same thing to them once you get to that point. So, look, Q4 is going to be the biggest Q4 you've ever seen, in my opinion. I think this Q4 is going to be massive. You already have stores shutting down on Thanksgiving, which is a good thing. But some aren't even opening for Black Friday because of COVID. They're probably going to have restrictions. They can't have a ton of people running through stores. Nor do a lot of people want to go running through these stores, you know, worrying about getting COVID. So what does that mean? It means that the e-commerce boom is only going to continue through Q4. Let's just say we get a vaccine coming in uh, at the end of the year. How long is it going to take to get everybody a vaccine, right? How many people are going to take it? So my point being is this is a massively great time to be in e-commerce. It's going to blow up in Q4. If you If you want to make it right now, this is the golden age. This is, in my opinion, just the beginning of, of e-commerce. This is just the beginning. This is when the mainstream is getting in. It's time to get a product in. It's time to kill it. Get that product in as quickly as you can. But, again, there's no guarantees. i failed multiple times. Everybody I know that's successful has failed. If you haven't failed, if you talk to somebody that's just been successful, they're either full of shit or they're just probably damn lucky because... Usually doesn't work that way. You don't usually succeed at everything. You fail and fail and fail and get back up and you and you eventually succeed. I don't want to learn from somebody that, you know, hasn't failed before. They don't know how to fail, you know. Um, it's just once they do, they'll probably be crushed. They'll probably crush their ego, you know. So failure is part of it. You can't be afraid of failure. Everybody says, whoa, you know, I don't, I don't want to have a failing product, my first product. Neither did I, but I did. I don't want to have a failing product, my second product. Neither, I didn't want one either, but I did. So, you know, listen, don't worry about the naysayers. Go after your dreams. If you fail, get back up and go back to work. Build up some more money and launch another product. You cannot be afraid to fail, and there's no guarantees. Even with the list, I think I give some good insights, but none of those are guaranteed to work. And anything I say on here is my opinion. It doesn't mean anything's going to work. I give you the best advice I can give, but, you know, disclaimer, right? It it's, doesn't mean it'll work. And... It, you know, the ideas that I got off of people might not have worked for other people. It's the way I executed it, you know, and you need to have grit. So this is kind of like Motivational Tuesday, right? So you need to have grit. What is grit? You got to have it, you know. Uh, when you get the fourth sample and it's not right, when you are trying to talk to, you know, uh, your Chinese supplier and you can't understand what the, they, they just cannot understand what you're saying or what you want. You know, that's grit, getting through all the bullshit, getting your your ace and suspended and going through weeks of hell trying to get it reinstated. You know, this is stuff I've been through and, and that other sellers have been through. Their account gets suspended and it's not even their fault. It has nothing to do with them. They get suspended for no good reason. This is having grit. And if you don't have it, if you don't have that tenacity and that work ethic and the grit to get through all the bullshit, this is not for you. Hang it up now. Go do something else. I'm being serious. If you don't have grit, I don't care how smart you are. I don't care what degrees you have. You know, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. He agreed. You know, it's it's there's what's the formula for success? And I said grit is the formula. You gotta be tough. You gotta be able to push through when people give you shit. Don't worry about those people. Yeah, does it hurt? Yeah, it hurts to hear shit like that from people. But just keep moving on. You know, I mean. Because you can't let other people affect your life like that. Um, just become stronger and build off that. So uh, there's a ton of opportunity left in FBA, Amazon. I mean, this is really the moment to get in. Because if you can get in and get some reviews, some good reviews hopefully, come Q4, it's, and I think it's just going to explode. I really do. Um, so many people are going to make become millionaires in Q4. Because it's going to just absolutely blow up. And it's already been so high. It's already been blown up since March. So, for so many people, depending on what you sell, right? But I really feel strongly about Q4 coming up. So, I was looking at Fall Reese. A wreath. Not Reese. Reese. I cannot say that word. Reese. Um, the other day. Or today. And, like, if you got a Fall wreath in, like, if you planned ahead two months before this, man... 
I saw one with three reviews making 66 sales a day. That's insanity, right? So, you know, if you plan ahead for Christmas, like if you want to get a Christmas ornament or decoration in, find some stuff that was popular last year. You know, use Keepa or use Helium, whatever tools you have to use to find the popular stuff last year. Launch in that niche. And I'll tell you what, come like October, November, you're going to start blowing up. It'll just start all of a sudden your sales will just take off if you find the right niche and the right product. But if you're going to do seasonal, there's nothing wrong with that. You can make really good money. Now's the time to do that. So now's the time to think about Christmas. you got to get it in within a month or two here. So FBA is not dead. Amazon is not dead. I'm excited about Walmart. I have not been approved yet. I pray that I will be. Um, but yeah, guys, keep your heads up. Get that product in. There's tons of opportunity out there. Make it happen. Um, push through. Use your grit. Push through. Get that product done. No matter how many samples or how many no's you hear, push through and get it done. All right, guys. Much love to everybody. Um, have a great night. I hope you guys have a blessed day.